Yo, hi guys, I'm Kiwi from Kiwi Productions and uh, here's a really short tutorial for you because uh, one of my Patreons have issues with reshades. So I was thinking it is uh, fair and nice to show... Um, my English is not so well. I'm so sorry for that, but I give my best. Here's a really short tutorial for you guys. Okay, he have not a uh, NVIDIA card, he have an ATE card, ATE, uh, ATE, <laughs> Radeon. So, what I can help now is, I found out a, I found out a way in Reshade, it gives a filter what makes these ambient occlusion shadows, what I usually know from NVIDIA RTX cards or ray tracing. But it gives a way, I found a way, with uh, it give uh, a plugin or filter at reshade also in that scene i show you now because that that my patreon says okay your videos look so nice but uh, i miss that shadows in uh, in my in my uh, virtual mate virtual mate don't have these kind of shadows so i turn now on this uh, filter one time that you see the difference on it so i turn it now on you see, there's a nice way with reshade to simulate these shadows. So it makes your virtual mate absolutely beautiful. I can show you that inside my truck scene I'm working on. Let me show you what I meant. So, now, here, you see the difference is a lot. Okay. So this is this is vanilla. This is with that reshade filters. So I can show you that in the uh, here maybe. Yeah, it looks so much nicer, and it costs don't it don't cost um a lot performance. It's absolutely performance friendly. So now I show you this, the, the, the filters. The filters I use is Cinematic Dove, Magic Blue, and this uh, Screen Space Directional Occlusion. It is absolutely important. Now it comes important uh, why this filters by my Patreon uh, was doesn't working. Uh, we fix it. I write him how he can do it. But I make that tutorial for you all guys that you know how to use that filters, that nice shadows inside Virtumate and every scene. You go on Reshade after you install it. It is really easy to install. You can Google it. Then you go on Edit Global pre Progressor Definitions. Now look my settings. It is so important that you make it exactly like that because Unity use a flipped depth of field uh, Adapter field, <laughs> yeah. So this this is the important setting inside Reshade. You go on Edit Global pre Progressor Divisions and then make it exactly like that. You will see on every Unity uh, application it will work. So here are the settings, but I usually have that at uh, standard settings. Um, if you have older hardware, I have a tip. Uh, Go on the sample range from uh, PPFX SSDO. There's a sample range. You can, no sample count. Sorry, sample count. Uh, put that sample count some uh, uh, a, a bit down. Yeah, standard is ten, but you see there's not much difference. So I put it on eight because I, I usually make tests on my scene I downboard my 3080 uh, RTX card um, because I have to be sure that my new truck scene is working on all the hardware also so I I test out some that's that is the point why I have it on eight um, I think I will use that also for my photo productions that filter because it uh, don't cost more. It don't cost performance like uh, the filter from Nvidia SSAO. So, yeah, that was my tutorial. I hope it was helping you. 
now you can have every scene really uh, really beaut beautiful you see by yourself I turn it off that is uh, virtual mate and I turn it on it looks a lot better turn it off and turn it on yeah you can play with the settings also but you see this makes 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 a a positive difference <laughs> okay I, I i hope i was helping you with that welcome welcome have a nice day have a nice weekend bye bye